Whether God is personal or impersonal has been a subject of raging controversy throughout the ages. You are a person, I am a person, even the butterfly is a person. In fact, every living entity is a person. When all of us are persons, then how can God, the one from whom all of us have originated, not be a person? Your father is a person. His father is a person. His father is also a person. Then how can the Supreme Father not be a person? Bhagavan Sri Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. God is a person, just like you are a person, I am a person. He is the Supreme Person. In the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the great uh, treatise on devotion to Krishna, the Acharya Rupa Goswami Prabhupada has explained the unique feature of the Krishna avatar. He describes Sri Krishna as the Akila Rasa Amrita Murti. That in the Krishna avatar, all of the Rasas are demonstrated. By definition, God is perfect and complete, being the complete whole. He must contain everything both within and beyond our experience, otherwise He cannot be complete. Therefore, to be perfect and complete, God must be both personal and impersonal. It is very difficult for a person who is too materially affected to understand the personal nature of the Supreme Absolute Truth. Generally, people who are too attached to the bodily conception of life cannot understand that there is a transcendental body which is imperishable, full of knowledge, and eternally blissful. In the materialistic concept, the body is perishable, full of ignorance, and completely miserable. Therefore, people in general keep this same bodily idea in mind when they are informed of the personal form of the Lord. Consequently, they feel that the Supreme cannot be personal, and because they are too materially absorbed, the conception of retaining the personality after liberation from matter frightens them. When they are informed that spiritual life is also individual and personal, they become afraid of becoming persons again, and so they naturally prefer a kind of merging into the impersonal void. The truth that God is a person whose bodily effulgence is the impersonal light can be well understood from several scriptural statements. According to the Srimad Bhagavatam 1.2.11, God exists in three aspects, Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. The Absolute Truth is realized in three phases of understanding by the knower of the Absolute Truth, and all of them are identical. Such phases of the Absolute Truth are expressed as the Brahman, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. These three divine aspects can be compared to the sun, which also has three different aspects, namely the sunshine, the sun's surface, and the sun planet itself. Brahman is the impersonal, all-pervading Brahmachoti, which is actually this effulgence emanating from the transcendental body of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It can be compared to the sunshine or the energy of the sun. Paramatma is the all-pervading localized aspect of the Absolute Truth. He is the four-handed form of Vishnu, present in every atom as well as in the hearts of all living beings. Bhagavan is the ultimate realization of the Absolute Truth and is the last word in transcendence. This Bhagavan aspect is the all-glorious, all-beautiful, threefold bending form of Lord Sri Krishna holding a flute in his hands. We see that Krishna is, is a personality. Because we see personality everywhere. So there must be personality in God. Well, all right. Krishna has it. He has personality. Yeah, but then log logicians argue again. And they say there's a problem with personality. Because it's limiting. Right? That's the, the thing with personality. Personality is a problem. If you ascribe personality to God, you're limiting it. 
And we just established that, you know, you can't limit him because then you put something above him. So there is a complication. Yeah. So then, uh, all right, we will not limit him. We'll give him an unlimited personality. And that's basically what we see in Krishna. So you see, like, it's uh, by exploring Krishna, we see his personality is logical, his qualities are logical. And the more we uh, hear about Krishna, his, his nature and his qualities, the more he has all the characteristics. And he's not a limited God, he is God unlimited. Realization of this Bhagavan feature automatically includes the realization of the Brahman and Paramatma features. Just as a person who has understood the sun planet automatically comes to know that the sun is the source of both the sunshine and sun disk.